Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. This was a Patreon exclusive from yesterday. As you see, the lawsuits are underway. Oh, man. You know, watch out for what you eat, guys. It's pretty gross out there. It's pretty bad, yeah. yeah. It is. Do you know that Sylvester Stallone's on his third marriage? No, I didn't. Yeah, his first one was Rocky. <laughs> Second one was Rocky, too. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, man. It's just crazy out there, guys. <clears throat> Here you have, <clears throat> excuse me, a group of people put a sack on the head of American soldier allegedly serving on a U.S. warship, the Wasp, arrived in port of Izmir in Turkey. <clears throat> they are chanting, Yankee, go home. And um, some other angles of this, as you can see. So, you know, apparently a port call, and this this is what, you know, is, is well, what's typical is, you know, you get time to go check out an area. And uh, here you can see uh, Personas Non Grata. Uh, I wonder how much of this has to do with everything going on with uh, Israel and Gaza. I don't know, but I, I don't like it. You know, I mean, it's it's it seems to be very, very uncomfortable for certain people. I think uh, people are just kind of fed up and they're not buying the mainstream. <clears throat> no, no, abs absolutely. You know, again, uh, well, or they are, you know, it it, it depends on what uh, country, I guess, we're standing in. So. Obviously, there's a lot of hatred going on right now uh, for what's happening in Gaza as we've had the protests in Israel, uh, and we all know the history of that. The world's tense. You want to talk about tense? This is a 9-11 call. This is Chicago. We were talking about Aurora, Colorado, and this is Chicago. <laughs> Drive. Says 32 Venezuelans are trespassing the building. Showing guns in the courtyard, and they have motorcycles. In the 32. <clears throat> 32 Venezuelans showing guns, taking over a building in Chicago. Uh, Chicago, Colorado. That's that's. There's a long <laughs> ways between those two locations. We were wondering what's it going to look like when the sleeper cells uh, get activated. What's it going to look like when uh, your cartels and you know your gangs you know start rolling and and taking action? Well, now we're starting to see it uh, again. Here we are now in September, literally uh, two two months and a handful of days away from November elections. So, what? <laughs> Hang on tight for the rest of this year. The rest of this year is going to be crazy. Yeah, you know, I mean, I I, I feel like there's going to be an uptick in this and an uptick in other things. And we know yeah, their storyline is to create as much chaos as possible and then coming in, riding their white horse saying, oh, don't worry, we're going to do this thing and, and it's going to protect you. And so, if you look down, it says, Upon arrival, officers conducted a thorough search of the premises, and according to officials, no migrants were found in possession of weapons or motorcycles, and no immediate threat was identified. So, was it just hype and hysteria? Somebody, you know, playing some sort of sick practical jokes? Was this some sort of code? 32 armed Venezuelans being reported? Um... Well, one thing we have seen, uh, and I think a lot of people that just, you know, keep track of the things that are ongoing in other countries uh, through Twitter and the like, there's been a lot of cover-up, uh, tons, tons of cover-up. The government officials, whether you're in the UK or USA or uh, any of the nations of the EU, there's just this downplay of everything that's happening when it comes to um, illegal uh, immigrants. It, because, again, it is obviously a UN project. 
this is you know at the highest level so you know you you have people being told um to look away so to speak to don't report it don't report this don't report that well this was captured this is in denver colorado this is being captured by their alarm system camera uh ring cameras and others like that and here you go you know they're they're armed with you know what look to be uh you know ar-15s something along those lines and they're still in the motorcycle and going into the house you know i remember one night i left the garage door open on a house we had before this one and uh, we were in the ghetto <laughs> we were not in a great area um and i was just thinking gosh brain dead you know or did i really leave it open you know because we've had that happen too where doors have opened um seemingly on their own or from the inside you know again everything we watch is monitored i do think that alarm systems could be hacked into just it's so easy so easy everything again look at the technology we there's there's hardly a place on earth you can go and um you know if nature is calling go take a private thing out in a park you're going to be watched from above there there's satellites everywhere is it time for the National Guard? Um, oh man, it's it's going to be crazy times uh, coming. We could see this. Well, you know, I mean, I know they want the National Guard, and they're going to say, "Oh, here we're going to protect you," and then, "Oh, well, National Guard isn't enough. Let's bring in the blue helmets." Oh, wait, they're not enough. Let's bring in more. You know, I, I I don't know. I think we need to learn some self defense. I hate handing over my my freedom so quickly and easily. You know, based on what somebody else is saying. I know it's not good to have these guys in the garage and supposedly they're taking over some type of place. But is it is it really really happening? I I don't know. Well, you know, in this world, you can say, okay, well, this is a ring cam and this, you know, was uh, obviously an armed robbery or or was it just simply staged again to um, hype the hysteria? Um, you know, each individual occurrence would have to be looked at and there's too many to do that with. But I, I think, yeah, this is, as this says, this is going to start happening a lot. Here you have illegals dressed up as utility uh, workers to home invade. And, you know, this is, um, it's just where we are at this point in time. As we've said before, there were specifically many, many people saying that Venezuela was emptying its prison system and sending them all north. Now, of course, Venezuela is, is a, aligned uh, with the BRICS nations. So it really shouldn't be too surprising as, you know, there is one system working here. So you see, uh, <laughs> police officers on camera, I've arrested a double homicide suspect in the city before. I let him walk out the door because we're a sanctuary city. We don't report illegals, undocumented immigrants. So you're going to let a person who went to prison, he committed a crime, in america who's who's illegal right now you're gonna let them go free yeah that's exactly because we're a sanctuary city so yeah the the laws many laws many things in our system make absolutely no sense from a logical point of view that's if you're looking at protecting uh the citizens of of these areas which is again what we theoretically are paying our taxes for is you know, upkeep of roads, protecting people, et cetera, et cetera, you know. The reality is, no, they, they use all our blood, sweat, and tears to pursue their agendas. And, you know, this is really a, a debt slavery system that we have going on. And now they're just simply, um, they're looking at the population in the U.S., and saying, well, you know, 400 plus million guns, 330 something million legal citizens, um, you know, that's a problem. They, they can't be bullied uh, as easily as some other nations. And that's why uh, our food uh, is, is 
tainted with additives that are completely illegal in many other countries, uh, water fluoridations going on, which would be illegal in many other countries. It's because this is how um, they get around that problem. And then, of course, you know, there's the cure that was given out and just waiting for the cure to blossom as the tip of the iceberg hasn't even been close to reached. Welfare costs exploding in Germany, 47.3% of recipients are foreigners. Um, you know, we were watching a show and it was showing Corsica and I was saying to um, Cindy that Corsica is, you know, maybe one of those places I'd really love to go to. Just the history and the climate and and then it dawned on me, I saw so many um, migrant boats landing on those beaches and you know not that they stayed there they probably moved on to the um you know mainland uh, but it is definitely a staging area it's been used as a staging area in in past wars um the dutch population is already outnumbered in the majority of their cities amsterdam's 56 percent uh migrants the hague 58 percent rotterdam 60 percent London's 54% migrants, Brussels is 70% migrants. Um, when you think about that, you are now, if, if you are being invaded by a particular force, you're outnumbered. And then the authorities are backing the invading force. Meanwhile, the U.S. seizes Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro's airplane in the Dominican Republic. Yeah, they stole his airplane. Uh, you know, is this the tit for tat for all the <laughs> gangs taking over buildings? Hey, you weren't supposed to do that yet. You got to wait for the election. I know. You got to wait a little bit longer. Yes. Oh, man. You know, it's just what well, we're watching. And then didn't I say that you'll you'll see Elon get a political position at some point in time? 45 considers Elon for a role in auditing U.S. agencies. Here you go. Uh, 45 is reportedly eyeing a plan to involve prominent business executives, including Elon Musk, the GG himself, in auditing federal agencies to identify programs to cut. Yeah, they're, we're going to have, we obviously know, they want a new system in place. Um, and everything that has been set in stone with the Constitution has been trampled over. Yeah, they'll just burn it and start again. You know, they'll do something new. It, it was all an illusion in the first place anyway. When you look to the Founding Fathers being at least 50% of them are, you know, Freemasons, were Freemasons, were part of uh, these uh, secret societies. Really, again, they when you look at the bloodlines, most, at many, are coming from the same uh, European families. It, it nothing really changes here on planet Earth. No, no, it doesn't. And then we have this Starlink uh, thing going on, and and to me, it is just the opposite of our own crystal grid. You know, they're they're creating their own grid, and it's artificial grid. It's just one more thing that they're creating. That's that's false and it's not real and it you know hopefully at some point the sun will take care of that that's that is the hope and again we know that's just a matter of timing and when i say nothing happens nothing happens in a dark age but again we're 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 starting to leave it as painful as it looks and you know it may look like we're you know not out of the dark age yet the fact that we're shifting from the dark age is what makes everything so dangerous because you know they know their time is limited and they say there's 6350 starlink satellites in orbit and no they're not really that far up there um but what they do as you can see you know there's there's very little uh, in in the, the lines of of land uh in obviously these areas of the pacific but everything is covered and really what they're they're watching uh for is everything everything and and not just humans so, you know again this is part of the draconian anunnaki and Egigian, 
um, Illuminatian system to watch everything that's happening on our planet. And of course, if you're looking at this, you know what we're seeing is is only about 25 percent of the planet from what we get. So, you know, what do you do with this information? I, I don't know. It's just the 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 technology is going to keep moving forward. And, and I think we do have choices as, as far as how far are we going to walk with the technology. Everybody has their own limitations, but figuring those limitations out before you have to cross that line is important because you don't want to get hit with something and have to make a sudden decision and get a technology in your life. That, that you're not kosher with, that you're not okay with. I mean, if we're going to live in this world, we have to go so far with the technology, but we don't have to go beyond. And knowing where we can and can't go or knowing where we can cut back, I think is going to be becoming very important. You know, this reminds me, um, how did the moon cut his hair? <laughs> oh, no. Eclipse it. He clips it off. He clips it. He clips it off. <laughs> he clips it. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's one of those days. But uh, what we're watching and with these satellites, so the reality is the satellites are not circling the whole Earth. Um, the reality is it's circling our part, which what we get is basically, um, let's, uh, I, I would say we could say that it's kind of like the Arctic Circle part. Um, if you think about how much uh, of of the planet is is not uh, is off limits uh, to the quarantined uh, aspects of 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 this human population, which is controlled by the the dark control system. You know, we're gonna do. Um, I was just remembering, we need to do a video talking about what's going on in a bigger sense, a multi-dimensional sense. And and I think if Cindy's up for it, we'll do it right after this one, and we'll put it up on EE Arts. Um, the first underground schools in Ukraine opened today. Underground schools. You know, there's also underground hospitals in uh, Israel. In fact, there were some tunnels that were built that were originally said that they were built by Hamas, and then it came out that they were actually built by the Israeli government underneath hospitals. And the reality is, again, at the top level, there's no real difference because this is you know part of what's really going on, as we know what Al-Cia does. You know, it's, it's really one system here. Now, this got me thinking about our history and about Turkey, going back to where those um, sailors were, were attacked over in Turkey. Because it gets me thinking of Cappadocia, it gets me thinking of Derinkayu, uh, Anatolia, all the cities underground. What if it, you know, why did people go underground in the tens or hundreds of thousands? And in reality, uh, with the Younger Dryas event, uh, so much of the life on the surface was wiped out. Why did they go underground? Maybe they were used to just nonstop wars of the gods going on overhead with incredible technology. Here you see Egypt builds massive parallel border war walls and underground steel wall that extends 60 feet below the surface. As you can see, you know, going underground is something that has been done time and time and time again. And it's even been theorized. Why Why did they go underground? Was it to avoid uh, perhaps some sort of conflict going on on the surface? When you look to um, that area in Turkey that I was talking about, they have these huge stone round wheels that could be moved into place that literally weigh tons. And it would make it so that the people on the inside would be blocked off from what's going on on the outside. What was going on on the outside? It's pretty wild. Um, this one, this one, that's something we would uh, actually debunk and we'll talk about uh, later. But here, I want to keep going with that underground thought. All around the world, you see these underground fortresses and all sorts of tunnels and complexes. This is over in France and, you know, the white cliffside here. 
extensive complex of tunnels, 300 underground rooms in a rock mountain dating back to the you know, Middle Ages. Sure, it was all done with chisels. Yeah. Oh, it says right there it was all done with chisels, you know, and if you read it, I'm sure it's true. Just chisels, just hammers, and uh, that's all. Some very primitive people figured it out. I don't know. There's just too many of these, and they're all over the place. They're everywhere, and they never get addressed. It's like, why is it this silent type of energy that moves through all of us? Are we just conditioned so much to not ask questions, not question our teachers, not question our, our school people not question the curriculum where does this stuff come from i think we need to change that about ourselves and cordyceps is something i was introduced to by my naturopathic uh doctor again you know i've i've only used naturopaths uh like the last 40 years of my life uh and it's you know cordyceps is a powerful uh, mushroom that can boost your immune system this is what we're talking about cancer lit lives and thrives in a low oxygen environment in fact what we have gotten is that and we know from science that oxygen levels were higher in the past that is something scientists will tell you yes our oxygen levels were higher in the past and what we would say is that our oxygen levels are lower now uh, artificially and if if you ever wonder why do they just go around tearing down trees and eliminating forests you know the lungs of the planet part of it is just to keep the oxygen levels lower um, because this will enable us to um, be more controllable we won't be as sharp mentally we won't live as long we won't grow as big we won't be as strong immune systems will be compromised so you know mushrooms are our friends unless they're the poisonous type I, I mushrooms i think are very beneficial and uh cordyceps is one especially ups your body's internal oxygen by 40 percent increases atp um you know atp production you want to do that it gives you a boost in energy how many people have chronic fatigue syndrome uh, almost probably 80 percent of the world if not better uh, has gotten the quote-unquote Epstein-Barr virus. And uh, the reality is uh, everybody's suffering from some sort of immune dysfunction because the world is so toxic, purposely. And here you see increases cancer patients' natural killer cell activity by 400%. Now the problem is, well, I'll let Cindy tell you about the problem. You really, really need to... If you can get it from somebody you know at a farmer's market that grows the actual mushroom, because what they've been doing is just using the using the rice that the mushroom was grown in and selling it as if it were the mushroom, and there's actually no medicine in it. There, the medicinal part of it is not there. So that's been a problem, not just with mushrooms, but with a lot of other uh you know a lot of other supplements we might take uh, so sourcing where you get your information and where you get your your plant medicine from super 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 critical these days because they're just passing almost anything off as if it were it were real and it's just not the amish are coming the amish are coming yes yeah not just the hell's angels the amish are set to rescue the residents of aurora colorado uh, yeah, they're reported to arrive sometime in October. Yeah, but they are on the way, guys. Don't worry. Never fear. The Amish will soon be there. Not just the Amish, but giant tortoises have now been filmed on their way to Aurora, Colorado to fight the Venezuelan gangs. Yeah, these guys are big. These guys are big. And uh, they're coming. They're coming. Yeah, Ninja Turtles on the way. You know, um... We had a turtle in the backyard. Sita was going crazy. Rama was going crazy. And it got me thinking about turtle medicine because in reality, again, uh, so many things that we see in nature are messages from our guides. And this is exactly uh, what the system wants you to think is just superstitious. Uh, woo. Uh, sure. It, what they want you to do is to not pay attention to anything that Mother Nature is telling you 
or your guides, your angels. Uh, again, you know, so many people of a fundamentalist mindset would be terrified of the concept of spirit guides. Oh, that's new age. Woo woo. You got to stay in the dark age with us. No, that's that's okay. You know, we'll pass. Uh, yeah, when turtles appear as your spirit animal, it asks that you remain true to your path. Each one of us has our own path. Uh, turtle as a totem animal is for those who feel at home anywhere, or it could be telling you, take your home with you anywhere. You know, these times that are coming, um, the guides had said years ago, years ago, when Cindy and I were first working together um, back in like 2019, they were coming through and talking about the things that are going to be happening to this country that's going to cause... We have so many illegal migrants, but but we, those that have been here your whole lives in the United States, are going to be finding that we may have to migrate ourselves to different areas in our own country uh, because of um, because of floods. Really, is what is what they were giving us the water issues that are arising, um, as well as the war issues that are arising. Um, so again, bring your shell with you, and your shell is your your home, but also your defense too, uh, in so many ways. And one way you can defend yourself is by keeping your personal frequency high, by staying very clear, uh, as clear as you can be. You know, you you you've probably heard, uh, you know, that line of thinking. It's you know, be drunk, be merry, uh, you know, whatever, because you know, tomorrow we're gonna die, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, the the whole thing. You remember the craziness of of Y two K and all that, and you know, you're gonna party like it's nineteen ninety nine, uh, because we might not be here in two thousand. No, this is when we need to be as clear as possible. This is when we need to um, really truly shield ourselves from the frequencies by using our own frequencies and of course this is about reconnecting with um, the mother energy which is omitted again from uh you know it's it's hidden the shekinah um, is hidden you have to go to esoteric uh traditions within the abrahamic tradition to to find the divine feminine as it's so patriarchal and that's also partly because, again, they don't want us cultivating compassion for each other uh, and seeing uh, the source that lies within the other. And that's really what namaste means. It, it's, it's like the divine in me recognizes the divine in you. So, again, um, you know, turtle energy, turtle totem, turtle uh, spirit guides, you know, this is what um, is coming through for us in these times again be um be aware be strong and be rooted and grounded indeed and i i just want to shop like it's 1999 my gosh it's getting expensive out there but anyhow you guys be safe work on your spiritual practice create that shell of protection around you we all have that ability um understand your choices that you can make and don't let anyone take your power away source bless and namaste namaste